So we finished the uh, uh, 800 grit stone and now we're going to move on to 1500. The main goal is to remove the scratch from 800, also to change the scratch direction from this way, from an angle to lengthwise across the blade like this, so we can prepare the blade for polishing. That's so right, right now I'm just looking at the edge thickness that it's even all across the blade from the heel to the tip, right along the edge. The thinning I did was successful, and it is, so it's good to see. Yeah, we can now go on to the 1500. Don't you use Nagura for 1500? I will, but not at this stage. Right now, what I just want to see is that the stone is working to remove the scratches from 800. And I really want to clearly see that. With the Nagura, what it does is creates a mud, which is great for sharpening and smoothing out the surface. But at the beginning stage, what I want to see is I want to see that the scratches are removed from 800. So as I progress through the 1500, I'll introduce the Nagura a little bit later on when I've got most of the scratches removed and I want to start smoothing the surface. <laughs> yeah, you all the way back to 200. Yeah, happy I did actually. Now it, it's really nice. <laughs> now I'm excited and not frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be great. And the shape is really nice. It's great. <clears throat> so I finished the process of uh, 1500 octo one and um, before I moved on to the 3000 octo two uh, 3000 s I just uh, do a process that I sometimes do by using a synthetic uh, Nagura which is a much softer stone just to even out and smooth the, the surface of the 1500 usually I do this only for uh, double bevels and after that, everything looks good, everything's straight. We're going to move on to the uh, 3000S.
but what's really cool mm. from here it's cool to see my finger reflection in the blade it really shows how polished it is now compared to when we started can you see I thought you're gonna use Hakuto One's 3000, won't you? I don't think so. Um, I'm finding the cladding is, is, is hard. I think for what I'm thinking is that the a softer Hakuto will be better for this. So I'm gonna go straight to that. Of course, if I'm finding it doesn't work or I wanna try something different, then I'll try a few different stones in that grit range, 3000. So we're just going to start the Hakuto 2 3000S. It's a much, much softer stone than even Hakuto 1 series. I asked uh, NSK make specifically like this to be soft. It reacts really well to much harder steels, but also is really nice for smoothing and blending the angled surfaces. So it's, it's really nice. And one nice thing about the NSK stones that's really unique but I find other stones you can do this technique is that when you're using just water, you can create a really nice burnishing effect across the steel to really make the hard steel very bright. So that's kind of the process that I'll do first and then slowly move into the, into the soft iron of the cladding. Do you use 2000? I did test the 2000 on this blade really fast, about a minute only. And I immediately saw that it just wasn't for this blade. And that's primarily because of the, the cladding, those little hard spots. That uh, 2000 grit Obora Bocha wasn't really working for this. Is it depending on the blade? Do you it really, change? Yeah, it really depends on the blade. I said, I don't know if you can get the shots to see the detail in here, but it's really, really interesting. It's really unique. So we finished the work of the uh, Hakuto 2 3KS, the softer version of the Hakuto 1. It's very different going on to the natural stones because these surfaces have to be really perfect before we're more concentrated on the shape and the angles. What? <laughs> we're thinking more for performance a lot before 
Of course, we think about the aesthetics because it's really important. The foundation is important to get it right for the aesthetics of the blade. But now we're going to really concentrate on the aesthetics and the which natural stones we're going to use for this blade. Was it sh fun sharpening? Um, I wouldn't say it was fun. <laughs> now I, now it's going to be fun. <laughs> Moving on to the natural stones, that because that's always fun. But I wouldn't say this process up from two hundred to to three k was was fun. And also, this experience of sharpening this blade is not new. I've done this. Mm, hundreds of times before. So a lot of what I'm seeing in this blade, I've seen many other blades. There's some interesting things about this blade that I haven't seen before. And one is this, I don't even know what you would call that. This kind of crystal looking blotches across the blade. That is something unique that I haven't seen before. Overall, yeah, it was good to do. I, and I did enjoy it, even though it was challenging. It was actually a really good experience. 